Okay guys, this is just going to be a Batiste blush review and I'm apologising in advance for one, the lighting because it is a ridiculous time in the morning so it's all artificial lighting and two, the quality of this video is to get recorded on my tablet because I can directly upload to YouTube if I use this uh, whereas on my phone I'd have to edit it first and the reason I'm doing it directly to YouTube through this instead of using my phone and editing it and stuff is because well my phone is playing up and I also have like no computer, no laptop, no anything like that because my computer is in the shop getting fixed and my laptop has just broken which means all of the stuff I had on it i.e. today's video and next Friday's video uh, have all been lost so I've got to film something quick so that is what this is so I'm sorry if today's video and Friday's video are a bit rushed and a bit random and small I will make it up to you when I upload the videos that should have gone up this week so either next week or the week after you will have two videos on Monday and two on Friday I don't know how I'm going to work it yet but I will put those video up videos up along with the ones that are scheduled to go up on that day or will be scheduled to go up on that day so this is Batiste blush and this is 150ml this is the smaller bottle because usually I get 200ml but I don't know I'll just pick this one up and the bottle has nice floral designs and it says floral and flirty now for those of you who have watched my videos for a while will know I hate floral scents and like all Batiste, it has a squirty nozzle but obviously there's nothing in this one because this one's empty it's just literally compressed air so this is the design of the bottle and again it shows you how to use it in nice pictures so for me the scent isn't awful the thing with this one is it's a little powdery and in comparison to tropical oriental floral essence this is powdery but in comparison to Batiste Wild and I'm trying to think of another Batiste that's powdery um, the Wild one and I don't like the original one either they're really powdery so it's not that bad it's in the middle of the lot I think in my opinion of course it still does what it does and I don't care if it's powdery anyway because I tend to spray dry shampoo the night before so that it gives, you know, it rubs in your hair as you sleep and it also gives you more volume. Uh, so that's a tip if you don't already spray dry shampoo in your hair the night before rather than in the morning. It saves you having to rub it in and it also gives you extra volume. I use quite a lot of this because obviously I'm on seventh day hair so I have a lot of oil in my scalp. Um, but yeah, this does the job. I was going to insert pictures of the original video of my hair before, once I've sprayed this in and then rubbing it in. But I don't have those pictures anymore and I'm not on seventh day hair anymore so I can't. I don't really want to put this in fresh hair because I'd just be wasting the product. So I will try and put one on Instagram or something when I have some form of pictures because my computer shouldn't have lost most of the stuff on it but my laptop definitely has my laptop has been, well, is getting sent off to be completely and utterly cleaned of everything so that they can fix it or replace it or whatever but my computer should still have the stuff on it so I should, if I find those I will plonk a picture on my Instagram which is linked in the description of all my videos so this is available from Boots and Superdrug. Batiste average at around two to six pounds. It depends which one you want, what size, what scent. And Batiste have quite a few new products out. They have a few uh, conditioning sprays. They have shine sprays and stuff like that. So I will link Boots and Superdrug down below, and I'll try and remember to link the Batiste website down below so that you can check those out and their new products but this is it's not a favourite but it's not an awful product if 
the shops near me didn't have any tropical, any oriental or any floral essence, I'd pick this up. It's definitely not a shove to the back of my cupboard sort of thing, but it's just not the best one for me, scent wise or powder consistency wise. But again, it's Batiste and I do tend to like Batiste things, minus a couple of exceptions. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really good product. It does get rid of the oil. It's not so powdery. But again, if you do find dry shampoos to be a bit powdery, spray them the night before and sleep with them. And then in the morning, you shouldn't have to do any rubbing in. So, sorry this video is a little rushed and short, guys. But thank you for watching. Hopefully next week, all videos will be resumed. And thank you for watching, guys. So I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.